Today on Earth Focus, smuggling baby elephants for tourism in Thailand. An original investigative report by Earth Focus and the Ecologist Film Unit. Coming up on Earth Focus. Elephant rides, festivals and camps are a must for thousands of tourists who flock to Thailand each year. But beyond the happy smiles, there is a dark reality behind the origin of these elephants. A brutal trade that experts claim threatens the survival of some of the world's last remaining populations of Asian elephants. They stand on the, the Asian elephant have been forget. The Ecologist Film Unit set out to investigate. We travelled to the region near Chiang Mai in northern Thailand, home to many of the elephant camps enjoyed by tourists. There have been research sites based in Africa watching elephants, among other things, for, for a very, very long time, whereas in Asia there's very little research has been done. Very little has been said about the dramatic drop in population. No one would have any idea that this species is also endangered. John Roberts runs an elephant camp. He was one of the first to recognize the link between the supply of elephants for the tourism industry and elephant hunting in the wild. We've been jumping up and down saying if you buy an elephant, you're probably taking another elephant out of the wild. We realized very early on that buying elephants was was causing a problem and hurting the wild population, or at least the Burmese population. The hunting of wild elephants is illegal in Thailand, but experts claim that the practice is widespread in neighbouring Burma, and it threatens the last healthy populations of Asian elephants that reside there. Baby elephants are particularly sought after. It's very attractive to tourists or Thai people. So everybody wants baby elephants, and they are worth a lot, a lot of money. You don't need any documents, no microchip, so it's super easy. You go to the jungle, you catch an elephant, you train them, and a month later you can get like 600,000 baht. And like if you imagine how much money this is in Thailand and how easy it is to do. Teams of hunters surround herds of elephants, killing the parents and other adults who try to defend their young. Investigations have revealed that as many as five adults may be slain for every calf captured. The defenceless calves are then smuggled across the border. These rarely seen images show elephants being forced to endure a cruel spirit-breaking ritual known as the Fajan. These activities take place in remote camps on the Burmese border, far from the public eye. In Thailand, they use a sharp thing to stab them. They use knives, they use axe, they use a stick to beat them. In anything that to make the elephant painful and afraid of people. A lot of them die. We have a record how the elephant die. Die from suffocate, die from starvation, die from the stresses. And some of them die from the heartbreak because they couldn't accept, they couldn't accept it. Whilst the lucrative trade in wild elephant smuggling is illegal in Thailand, Lek alleges that it involves corruption on various levels. Have the police involved, have the military involved. You know, if you want to make birth certificate or ID card, you can fake it. Big money for the official to issue the paper. Once you are confronting these influential people that are above the law, it can get quite dangerous. There were some camp owners that like told me literally that if I was a guy, I would be dead already. Shortly before the making of this film, a local informant in the area disappeared. Activists fear the worst, but carry on nevertheless. People who work with the animal in this country, they're afraid. Myself, I'm afraid too, but to, to be honest, the animal are more, more afraid. We put these allegations to the deputy director of the National Parks Authority, whose remit is to protect and police the country's wildlife. ซึ่งอ่าตรงนี้เนี่ยทางอ่าเจ้าหน้าที่ของทางรัฐบาลไทยโดยกรมวิทยาศาสตร์
But despite such assurances, evidence suggests that the trade in wild calves is still ongoing. Investigations in the last six months and conversations that have been had with traders and elephant owners have shown at least 14 wild-caught calves have been traded across the border from Burma into Thai camps. And we believe this is just a fraction of the numbers. Campaigners claim the presence of scarred baby elephants with surrogate mothers at the recent Surin Elephant Festival also highlights the need for urgent action. The world has lost up to 90% of its Asian elephants in the last 100 years. And unless actually more is done to protect these species and stop activities such as the illegal live trade, then we're going to lose the Asian elephant in the wild forever. What we're asking for is uh, earlier registration of captive-born calves so that they're actually registered within two weeks of birth. And to make this even stronger, we're also calling for a DNA database. Now, with all this proof that we have, is really the moment to form an international community to yeah, push Thailand to really enforce the law and finally really protect the wild elephants. Until then, the plight of Burma's wild elephants continues to hang in the balance. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.